If you're debating about being a nurse and you're hearing either nurses complaining about it or news reports coming out and you're sitting around wondering to yourself, is being a nurse really even worth it in this day and age? Then stay tuned because in this video, I'm going to discuss and answer that question. Is being a nurse worth it? And then you get to hear my take on that. Hey, this is Thomas from Nurse Money Talk, where we help nursing students become nurses and nurses excel in their nurse career and nurse life. And like I already said in the intro, let's talk about is being a nurse worth it? So the immediate thing about this question I'll say is like whether or not being a nurse is worth it to you or I mean, honestly, whether or not being any profession and it doesn't have to be nursing, it could be engineer, doctor, accountant, whatever. Whether or not it's worth it will really depend on the individual person and will also depend on what your goals are. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you just kind of generally why I think it might be worth it to you depending on where you're at and then also give you some other points on why it might not be worth it to you also depending on where you're at before we get started i want to go ahead and invite you to hit that subscribe and notification button so you do not miss any of our new videos that are going to be coming out and then also note that any links that we mentioned will also be posted in the descriptions below. So let's get started. The first part I wanna talk about is the reasons why um, being a nurse is, it might be worth it to you. And I think one of the things that I wanna bring out is that, it bring up is that as a nurse, the nursing profession makes such a huge difference in people's lives. And that's not saying that there's not other professions that make a difference or or whatnot but i think not all professions have the same kind of impact on the same things as a nurse for example you you get to honestly get to help people in times of their greatest needs you get to be there to to help figure out why somebody's hurting you get to be there to and and sit beside the grieving family as they watch the passing of their loved ones there's so many avenues of nursing that that makes such a huge Huge difference huge like tangible difference in people's lives that's why so many people above all else gravitate towards uh, nursing as a career one thing I will note on that and I will get to that as well is that that ability to make a difference in people's lives when they're hurting can also be one of the reasons why so many people also um, gravitate away from nursing but more on that later and uh, the second reason why I would say so many people um, look at nursing is that as a nurse your your compensation is actually pretty good I mean if you're looking at um, these stats you're you're looking at as an RN average was about seventy three thousand three hundred so an hourly pay of $35.24. As an LPN, the average, this was like a 2019 stats by the US Bureau of Labor Statistics. You're looking at LPNs making 47,480 annually at about $22.83 per hour. Now, those are just numbers, but now let's compare them to what the average salary is for like kind of like professions with with bachelor's degrees. And so that ends up being $59,124 a year. As you can see, like when you start looking at nursing, like an RN, that's a bachelor's, and then you look at kind of like com comparing that um, across the board, nurses get paid get paid pretty well I mean let's just be honest they get paid pretty well and then I'm actually gonna skip down to number four and then on top of that pay part of the other reason why so many people 
like gravitate towards nursing and think it's worth it is that because it's in healthcare and that because it's in healthcare there's it tends to be more so recession proof than most other professions as they would say there tends to be a high demand for it and there tends to be a lot of job security comparatively in nursing when it comes to most other professions so as you can see if some of those things are important to you then you can kind of see where why some people gravitate towards it the third point that i skipped was about the opportunities for advancement and so what i actually mean by that is that in nursing there's a lot of room for you to to move up or move down there's management positions like so for example like maybe you started as a nurse aide you could work yourself up from a nurse aide depending on where you're at technically you could work yourself up to an aua which in it which is an advanced unlicensed assistant you could then move up to an lpn from an lpn you could go up to an rn either adn or bachelor's and then from rn you can get a lot of certifications for that and then you can branch off even from just an RN you can do leadership you could do um, you know if you just wanted to get into legal aspects of things you could do legal consulting you could do chart reviews you could work with insurance there's a lot of opportunities when it comes to nursing and we haven't even talked at all about getting into the master's doctorate and PhD route and the opportunities that show up with that. The last point that I want to mention about is similar to the advancements is also kind of like the endless flexibility that comes with a nursing degree, whether it is like the hours that you want to work, what specialty areas you want to work. What about do you want to work with only kids? You only want to work with the elderly. Is there a particular disease process that kind of interests you or especially area that interests you? Do you only want to do like emergency room nursing, um, GI nursing, mental health nursing, you know, maybe drug rehab? The list is almost endless. It's almost endless about the opportunities that show that you have at your disposal as a nurse. With that said, there's also another side to nursing that depending on your personal situation or your personal preferences that would make nursing not worth it to you. So for example, nursing in itself is just hard. I, I mean, I don't know how else to say it. It's, it's hard work. Like even when your situation of dealing with doctors, patients, um, dealing with patients, visitors or family members, dealing with admin, dealing with your nurse coworkers. Those are all very stressful situations. And unlike what like the news or maybe like TV shows or whatever will will show, nursing is not a glamorous job. Like it's it's just not. It's a hard job. It's a messy job. If you're looking at situations where you're dealing with, um, especially if you're inpatient, you're dealing with bodily fluids, you're dealing with so many other other things and so I think like when you're looking at be you know if nursing is what you're thinking about doing like you really kind of have to look at the difficulties of nursing and then just kind of think to yourself is this worth it but on the flip side to this take note that because nursing is so broad and there's so many options out there that if there's an area of nursing that you find particularly worse than others so for example like if you are if you're a nurse that's squeamish you're not a huge fan of bodily fluids needles or or whatnot then there are specialties in nursing in healthcare that you that require the training of a nurse for those positions and those positions don't have um, you know bodily fluids or having to give shots or needles or, or whatnot the other thing to think about is that nursing is emotionally draining up here I mentioned the part about how like you make a big difference in people's lives because because of just being able to sit with the grieving family to be able to heal um, to help figure out and fix the problems that are going wrong with one of your patients all of that is true 
but all of that is what makes this emotionally draining because it takes an emotional toll on you. I mean, and if you're working in the ICU, you could do everything perfectly. You could do everything you can. You could care more than anybody else and still have patients that honestly that that pass away it is um depending on what area you're at in nursing that is just kind of the nature of it and what ends up happening is that it becomes after seeing so much of that over and over and over and over again it's really hard to not start internalizing it it's really hard to not start taking that home with you, um, seeing patients that grieving family members, that high stress environment where what you do, how quickly you do it can be the difference between life and death. The last part in here that I want to mention, and I didn't actually write this down, is that some people will con do consider it a low paying profession. You might be saying, well, right up here, I just said it's that, you know, they do pretty well compared to other bachelor's degrees. And, that, and that's true. So if you're looking at it from the, from the aspect of the STEM field, so science, technology, engineering, and math field, what you'll quickly see is that there's a lot of professions, a lot of careers in that track that make a lot more money than nursing does. So for somebody who is looking for the most high paying profession, which there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. For somebody who is looking for that, you might look at nursing and think, well, this isn't worth it. It's education's hard. Um, education, I mean, it, it takes a while, it's difficult, you have to license your board, there's a lot of things that you're doing, and there's a lot of things that you will be doing as a career, and you're not making as much as, you know, these X fields out here, or there's these other fields that I could go into where I could, my potential to make a lot more money is greater. And in a lot of ways, that's also true. I think every profession kind of has their pros and cons. Some of the stuff that I'm listing here that you kind of always have to weigh, but that is something to keep in mind. Um, what I would like to say though, is that like, if you are considering going the, the nursing route and none of this that I said have scared you off, because I really do believe that nursing is a really great profession that gives you a lot of options and a lot of opportunities to do a lot of different things out there, then to find nursing schools, you can go to nursemoneytalk.com forward slash schools. So if you are still thinking strongly about being a nurse and you would like some more information about being a nurse and maybe applying to nursing schools or whatnot, then this video coming up, one of them will be about how to find nursing schools and the other one will be about uh, about kind of like some factors to look into when you're choosing nursing school. So you can go check either one of those videos out and then I will catch you very soon in the next video.